Is it a bird, a bat, a dinosaur, or a dragon? Meet Ichi, a fossil discovered in China. The Chaojishan Formation is pretty iconic amongst many dinosaur fans. Estimations date the site between 169 and 122 million years old. The climate was humid and filled with a dense forest of ginkgos, conifers, and ferns. Volcanoes stood by, making this a diverse and productive ecosystem. In this world, you found a lot of bird-like dinosaurs, like the Patopina, the Tsaihan, alongside the fluffy Tianyulong. The pterosaurs that soared in the skies were just as weird and wonderful. Strange-looking Wukong Opterus and the Feng Muhang Opterus lived in this area. Ichi's discovery has baffled many paleontologists so it makes sense that this creature existed amongst this eclectic bunch of strange animals. Ichi was a small dinosaur, about the size of a pigeon, with a full coating of feathers. The name Ichi means strange wing, which makes sense when you see this dinosaur. It had long arms with a bony rod called a styliform element, extending from large wrist bones and fingers covered in feathers. In between this long bone and elongated third finger is a soft tissue with an unusual wrinkled texture, bat-like wings. In 2007, the Ichi remains were found by a farmer in the middle to late Jurassic Age fossil beds of China, meaning it would have existed about 160 million years ago. Ichi also has the prize for the shortest name given to any dinosaur. In fact, zoological systems for naming creatures has a minimum letter count of four letters, so this is the shortest name a dinosaur would be able to have. Estimates predict this dinosaur may have been as light as 380 grams, with a small wingspan of 60 centimeters and a skull only 4 centimeters long. It would have had small, sharp teeth and fuzzy feet. The feathers that covered its body were fairly stiff and long, covering the dinosaur in a dense coat. Luckily, the fossilized feathers of Ichi were well preserved, so we think we know what color it would have been. This little dinosaur had a blackish, grayish body, with reds and yellows on its arms and little yellow-brown patches on its head. Some mammals we are familiar with today have developed a similar wing structure with large wrist bones and membrane-like tissues creating wings like flying squirrels and sugar gliders, who use these wings to glide. However, whilst we're used to seeing this structure in the modern day wild, it is a real surprise to see a dinosaur sporting the same features. Professor Zhu Zing said the dinosaur definitely evolved a wing that is unique in the context of the transition from dinosaurs to birds. Remember, living birds have a small, soft tissue in their wing. We just can't see it because it's covered in feathers. Ichi is a close relative of birds, even if it isn't a direct descendant. And before you get too invested, unfortunately this isn't evidence of dragons existing. Dragons and dinosaurs have often become entangled together in myths and legends. Our ancient ancestors might have stumbled upon giant fossils, spawning the legend behind fire-breathing ferocious dragons. You can see this inspiration in the famous images of dragons we know today. In fiction like The Hobbit, Harry Potter, and Game of Thrones. There are even fossil discoveries which have a little fun with dragon myths, like the Draco Rex and Draco Pelta, or the Dilong and Guanlong, because long matches with the Chinese word for dragon. Ichi was a very small, insect-eating dinosaur, Whilst it wasn't a dragon, it certainly brought up interesting questions for researchers to try to figure out. Unfortunately, we don't know the exact answer to the question everybody wants to know. How did this dinosaur fly? The Ichi's wings aren't completely preserved, and there aren't any other specimens to compare it to. 
researchers aren't sure if it had a broad wing or a narrow one. We also don't know if these creatures had the muscles or joints needed for powered flight. Some paleontologists believe this dinosaur couldn't have flapped its wings like birds too. Biologist Kevin Padian is adamant that, to quote Padian himself, to fly actively an animal must be able to execute a flight stroke that can generate a vortex wake that propels it forward. No evidence presented so far suggests Ichi had this ability. We can shelf the possibility that this dinosaur flapped. However, there are other ways of traversing the sky. Ichi could have used its wings like the flying squirrel to glide. Paleontologist Zhu Jing pointed out in a podcast that evidence suggests this dinosaur did at least glide. He told interviewers, To be honest, I just can't imagine if this structure were not used in flight, what else it could function in. A number of experts land somewhere in the middle. They think E might have used short flaps to launch and steer, but glided to do most of its traveling. Where do you stand on this debate? Ichi is from a group of tiny feathered dinosaurs called the Scansoriopterygidae. This family of dinosaurs was introduced by Stephen Zirkus and Yuan Chongzhi. Alongside Ichi, there's only four other specimens in this group. Epidexipteryx huai, Epidendrosaurus, Scansoriopteryx, and Ambopteryx. Like Ichi, both these dinosaurs bring up questions for paleontologists, because we simply don't know much about their lives. Epidexipteryx huai lived in the late Jurassic period, but only one preserved partial adult fossil has been found as of yet. Like Ichi, it was covered in feathers, which researchers think were both for ornamental display purposes and for insulation. Their tail feathers would have been three times the length of its body, creating an impressive display to other small paravian, meaning bird-like dinosaurs. The Epidexipteryx is the first example of this type of tail feather in a non-avian dinosaur. With wing-like structures made of a thin membrane, it didn't fly but glided instead, helped by its light weight of 161.6 grams. This little dinosaur would climb up trees and glide between the treetops in Inner Mongolia, feasting on insects along the way. Like its ancestors, the Epidendrosaurus is a unique and rare dinosaur. Only four fossils have been discovered, and like the other dinosaurs in the Scansoriopterygidae group, its discovery was a significant one for paleontologists. The feathery Epidendrosaurus was the first non-avian dinosaur recognized as semi-arboreal, meaning it spent a lot of its life in trees, like the ginkgo and confer. It would have lived in the mid to late Jurassic period, between 149 to 125 million years ago, in the Chaojishan and Daohugo formations in northeast China. A proficient tree climber, this was in part due to its long, grasping arms and clawed feet. They used a long third finger to climb and demonstrated an early prototype wing. As with Ichi and Epidexipteryx, good things come in small packages with this dinosaur. Although we don't know its weight, the juvenile fossil reached a length of 16 centimeters, whereas an adult grew to 25 centimeters long. The Scansoriopteryx continues many of the patterns we see in other Scansoriopterygidae. One juvenile fossil dating between 169 to 122 million years ago has been discovered in the Liaoning province of China. Spending its life amongst the trees, it had a long third finger we see in other Scansoriopterygidae and wing-like feathers. This would have allowed it to glide and leap between trees looking for insects and small creatures to snack on. They were small, weighing 170.1 grams, with short legs and a long tail, similar in size to a modern sparrow. The Ambopteryx is the newest addition to this odd group. Like Ichi, 
It has a long styliform element bone that comes from its wrist. Even more interesting, there's traces of a brownish film suggesting a wing on the discovered fossil, as well as fossilized feathers. Like modern birds, Ambopteryx has a pico style. That's a fused tailbone that secures tail feathers. This fossil was only discovered in 2017, so there's still lots to discover about this creature. Researchers believe it had a varied diet as an opportunistic omnivore, meaning it ate what it could when it came along. Gizzard stones, which are found in modern plant-eating birds, were found in its stomach alongside bone fragments. Jingmai O'Connor specializes in ancient birds and described this dinosaur as a little creepy-looking dinosaur squirrel, which would have climbed trees and glided from branch to branch. As of the filming of this video, only one fossil of Ichi has ever been discovered. This is a small, unassuming dinosaur that doesn't have many other mates in its group. But each of these dinosaurs has been a significant discovery for paleontology. Jingmai O'Connor said, Before the discovery of Ichi, every flying dinosaur we ever found, we tried to fit on one evolutionary lineage towards birds. Ichi really just shattered that idea. The discovery of Ichi shows that the evolution of flight still has many mysteries to uncover. Firstly, a large proportion of feathered dinosaurs come from the early Cretaceous period. Ichi existed much earlier, showing that feathered dinosaurs roamed the earth even earlier than we initially believed. Additionally, before this discovery, it was assumed that prehistoric reptiles flew in two ways. Either these creatures were small, predatory dinosaurs that had flight-capable feathers, long and flat feathers protruding from their arms, or they were pterosaurs, like the pterodactyl, who had long fourth fingers which supported a leathery membrane of skin and muscle. Ichi defies this group by being a bit of both. It has leathery membrane wings with feathers covering the edge. Daniel Ksepka sums the discovery up. This is refreshingly weird. There hasn't been anything else like Ichi discovered yet. Ichi represents how varied and interesting the late Jurassic period was, with all sorts of weird and wonderful dinosaurs of various shapes and sizes, wandering the earth and skies. Furthermore, it shows how exciting the world of paleontology is and continues to be with amazing discoveries happening all the time to bring to life a period from millions of years ago. Are there other weird and wonderful dinosaurs you'd like us to look at on this channel?